Why, hello everyone, Angela O'Hare here, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And sidekick Damian Barton. And we are here today in the newest brand new community over here in Kyle Point called uh, Alpine Ridge by TriPoint Homes. And they just opened their models on April 22nd. And unfortunately this plan too, we're gonna have to come back another day. They're doing some little maintenance in it but I really like the design structures or the elevation. So this is very mid-century modern with the asymmetrical roof lines. And this floor plan looks more Spanish contemporary with uh, a little, or modern Spanish. Modern Spanish. Yeah, with the, the straight um, roof line there. So this is plan three. This is the largest floor plan. They have three different models here and you can have an option of three to four bedrooms, three bathrooms and two bay, car garage with storage so that means they probably have an extra little storage spot for it the base price out the door is five hundred and eighty seven thousand which is as of today that could change by the time you watch this video every time these builders release lots they tend to increase the base price I'm not quite sure how much the lot premiums are i will find out and get back to you on that one i really like how these entries have a courtyard that way you can spend some time in the front and some time in the back. And I really love that. That's mm -hmm. like friggin' phenomenal. The rocks. Yeah, I don't know if I would have put aloe here, but it's beautiful. I like this black door, very modern. And then they have the side entry here. So this one says that you can have a, a Gen Smart Suite. So we're gonna take a look at that. No HOAs in this community and there's no SIDS or LIDS. I'm sorry, there are HOAs of $75 a month, but there are no SIDS or LITs. It is gated and they will have a community park. Wow. I really like this. Mm -hmm. I don't know which way to go. Let's go, go right. No, let's go straight. Let's go straight. Okay. Let's check this out. So this, oh, this has the same feel as plan one with the kitchen to the side right there the dining room like that, mm -hmm. and the great room and the bedroom. I bet you this must be a little slightly bigger version of plan one. So you have the nice, beautiful island with the four pendant lights. And here they put the cooktop in the island and then they put the sink over there. Personally, I don't know if I like the cooktop in the island because it kind of obstruction view, don't you think? Yeah. I don't know. Um, I really like the dining room area. Love these chairs. I love the curved uh, on the chairs. Mm -hmm. It's up my alley, yep. And they did the separate, two different color quartz countertops where you have the beautiful white quartz countertops here. They went with the flat panel cabinets, which are, that's annoying. Usually more expensive than um, the shaker type cabinets. This is very more of a modern feel. Mm -hmm. And then I like this two and a quarter inch thick waterfall island. Love this vent hood. I love it, but I don't like the location. Well, it's not too much obstructing the view. I think the pendant lights are kind of obstructing the view. Yeah. Um, these are GE appliances. They're profile. They're not monogram. Oh, I like the texture on the ceiling. It's pretty nice. And then this one has a nice large basin sink with the black hardware. Beautiful window looking out to a brick wall. <laughs> and then this has just the cooktop. And then this one also has the um, oven wall oven and then this is probably an oven and a convection microwave for the pizza yep then you have a smaller pantry in this one but it's still a decent sized pantry i like these doors yes so this community like i mentioned in the beginning opened on april 22nd they released two phases and they've already sold out on the two phases they've sold eight homes already the next lot release won't be until May 20th. So if you want to be part of the next lot release, you actually need to be put on the wait list and get pre-approved by the TriPoint lender. And obviously you need to contact me, Angelo Hare, first at... 702-370-5112. So we can get you registered and ready. So they are only going to be releasing four lots on May 20th. 
and the build time will be March 24th. So this is a nice little linen closet right here. And man, that's annoying. Yep. Fire detector alarm already going. So nice high ceilings, the four can lights, the pre-wire for a ceiling fan. And these little circle things are for the fire uh, sprinklers. Certain parts of the valley make it a requirement. I know up here in the Northwest, it is a requirement for the homes to have it. I know in certain parts of North Las Vegas, it is not. I really like that shiplap wall back there. That's pretty, that mm -hmm. color too. It's a good size primary bedroom. Very nice. I like the roof lines. Cross angle. Yeah. Then another oversized shower. And obviously you can make this into a normal size shower and add your tub. It's just not a thing here. A lot of people like the spa type shower. Then you have the same cabinets with the Petrofina countertops, the double vanity. This looks bigger than the other house um, with the LED mirrors. It's kind of cute. I like those lights. Those are very cute. Interesting. The toilet area. Oh, look at this closet. Mm -hmm. Wow. Next year's project. Oh, no, this year's project. <laughs> <laughs> I like this color of wood. Ooh. <laughs> See, this is what I was talking about, like a little drawer with um, shelves on top. Yeah. This is actually huge. It's a very large closet. And this is an upgraded option to have it um, put in. So now when you buy a TriPoint home, you'll have your structural options that will be selected first. Normally with TriPoint, they pre-select those structural options for you. And then you will have the option to select your upgrades, like your flooring and your tile and your countertops and your cabinets. Then you'll have an option to pick your electrical package and your appliance package and all these little things start adding up. So even though the base price of this home was $587,000, you are more than likely going to be putting over $100,000 plus thousand in upgrades. So this home is going to be over $600,000. Just FYI. See, like this slider is a structural option. So this looks like a 20-foot slider. It's, it's pretty big. This is going to be a lot of extra money. Let me see if they let us outside. Nope. Nope. It's sealed. Not on this one. It must have a pool or something. That's very nice size with the pavers extended. I like that fireplace. Mm -hmm. Are you sure it's sealed? No. It's just maybe me. If The only time they seal it is when there's a pool. It is open. Yeah. That's what I thought. So when you pick these options... I always say this in all my videos, it's important that where you're spending your money at. A lot of times people say, go with the builder grade generic flooring that comes with the house and then later on switch it out to new flooring. We just recently went through an upgrade or updates in our house and it is a pain in the butt to move the furniture and it's not as cheap as everyone thinks it is. If you have the money, I would spend the money on the flooring first off right away um, and your baseboards, because it's not fun going through a renovation when you have a family and animals um, and after you've moved in. Mm -hmm. um, and then I would spend my money, obviously, on the countertops and the cabinets, the electrical package. I mean, you know, <laughs> I, you can't sometimes skimp on these extra upgrades. Now, expect, they always say about 10% of base price you're going to put in upgrades. Sometimes that could be more. It's a cute little backyard. This it's, has two units on it. Right. That's surprising for one story. Yeah. Well, it's over 2,700 square feet, so it's a big house. I like this little pergola. That's cute. I want to get one of those pergolas that um, open and close. Oh, the upgrade, yeah. The upgrade. Yeah. Isn't that nice? We can have a voice activated. <laughs> Yeah, this has a good feel to it. That's funny. That's the um, the sales team for TriPoint on the internet. That's Josh. <laughs> That's funny. 
Yeah, when Damien and I walked in, we had um, some YouTube fans greet us and recognized us, so that was nice to have someone recognize us. Thank you for the love. Yes. Has a nice linen closet. I like this layout. So then you have a full bathroom right here with the same upgraded cabinets, the Petrofina countertops, and they use the tub shower insert. Cute. So this one says that you can do a super lounge, stacking glass slider door at Great Room, which is an upgrade, electric fireplace at Great Room, and primary suite, spa shower, and primary bath are all upgrades. So then immediately you have a bedroom, which is a good sized bedroom. And all the bedrooms have those custom closets. I like this feature right here on the wall. That's very cool. Mm -hmm. They just opened and they already have a stain on the carpet. So we're drinking some wine. So this uh, section right here would be converted into the Gen Smart Suite. Oh. Okay. Or you would have it as an option for this lounge area, which, you know, I kind of like the lounge area mm -hmm. because this would be considered, since it's not a two-story home, the loft. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I really like the size of this. Kind of like good movie, movie room size, too. Yeah, this would be a good TV room. And it has access to the courtyard. Then you have another bedroom back here that's a good size that also has its own. Oh, this must be the Gen Suite. Okay, so let me read this. Super Lounge is an upgrade. So this is, they made this into the Gen Suite. Mm, okay. So this is nice, very nice. I don't like this though, tile, but that's personal. And they have the appliances, kind of like what they're doing with Lennar. They're kind of copying Lennar. And then you have your little lounge area very nice a little kitchenette kind of with a, a bar sink and then a little refrigerator hmm maybe i would get it into this little suite this is kind of cute mm -hmm. what do you think yeah i like this yeah a lot of people like having these next gen type suites and then this room is a good size with a decent sized closet yeah i mean no one does next gen suites like lennar no offense tripoint but this is a very good alternative. This is, this is well laid out. Yeah. It's well done. Yeah, it's very nice. So this is three to four bedrooms. So I would imagine, I'm gonna have to look at the floor layout and see how that's converted. I don't think there's a bedroom over there, but we're gonna go look. So there's one here to the primary. Let's go this way. I think this is the garage entrance. They made a little mud room area, yeah. Cute. And then the laundry room. I like how easy the laundry room is to the master. Yeah, and that's an upgrade. Mm -hmm. And then the sink is an upgrade. These cabinets are an upgrade. Typically, the bath, or laundry rooms do not come with these cabinets. That's something extra you would have to add. And that's something you can do later on in the future. I don't think that's something that you necessarily need. But if it were me, I would make sure, if I don't put the sink in right away, I would get it pre-plumbed for the sink in the future because homes with a sink in the laundry room sell faster than homes that don't. People like having that amenity. Good to know. Yeah. Then you have another closet. I like this little mudroom area when you walk oh, in. It's a good size. Yeah, it's a good size closet with the smart panel right there. And, ooh, we're not supposed to see this garage, but this is the one that has so technically this could be a three car garage. Even though it says that two bay with storage, this technically can be three cars. And I like their oversized tankless water heater and it is pre-plumbed for a water softener. That could be an extra upgrade as well. Not often that homes come with that. Um, so that's another thing. And another upgraded option is Sometimes they'll allow you to put a door in the garage. That way you have easy access to your backyard without tracing through the house to get to the backyard with your lawn stuff or whatever. So that was pretty cool. I really like this. Very nice. Very cute. Drop zone area. A lot of people like having that drop zone. So that's a very good feature to have. I think I've covered everything. 
So again, we're over here at Alpine Ridge touring the plan three at 2745 square feet with an option of three to four bedrooms, three baths, and a two bay garage with storage. Base price starting at 587,000 and they have three different elevations. And so basically where that next gen suite is, I forgot, is probably where this fourth bedroom would go. So because it looks like two bedrooms in one. So you have an option of doing the super lounge and then having the two bedrooms back here. I'm gonna take a look at the floor plan when I get there. Anyway, folks, I sell a lot of new construction here in the Vegas Valley. If you're thinking about buying in Alpine Ridge, you need to contact me. Angela O'Hare, your at, favorite Las Vegas realtor at 702-370-5112. That way we can put you on the wait list, get you waited, because I've already had a few clients express interest in it. And I did not realize how fast they've sold out when they just opened up last week, not even a week ago, six days ago, they sold out their first grand opening, but they were doing pre-sales as well. So we need to get you on the wait list and we need to get you to apply now. Okay, folks. Otherwise, you're going to miss out on this wonderful opportunity where I feel it's very important to take advantage of when the community first opens up versus when the community is ending. Because each time the builder releases a lot, those lot prices always go up. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. All right, folks. Most importantly, make sure you like and support my channel subscribe i need those subscribers i'm just a little measly youtuber <laughs> right yeah but the fire alarm in there i thought she was hot so <laughs> kept going off all right make sure thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you on the next one peace out